Hi, Brenda Balance here, Be Balanced Art. I'm going to be doing a strainer pour using paint that was left over from my last pour that I did. The only thing different is I'm going to add a little bit of this Liquitex Basics Neon Pink. I've already put a little bit of my white Dutch Boy semi-gloss paint around the edges to help spread it out more easily. Inside my little cup I have Liquitex Basics, Lime Green, Dioxazine Purple, Turquoise, I have Dutch Boy semi-gloss white house paint, Rust-Oleum Metallic Pearl White, Artist Loft, Phthalo Green, Phthalo Blue, Brilliant Blue, and Turquoise. Those are all left over from my previous pour. Let's begin. I'm hoping I have enough paint left over from my last pour. It was too much to want to throw out and it's all beautiful colors. See what we get. I think the neon pink will be a nice addition. I think it'll look really good with the purple and blue. I was going to do a strainer pour so I could show my friend Linda, who is also my wonderful camera person. Hello, Linda. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for filming for me. I really appreciate it. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. So, she wanted me to do a strainer pour, but I didn't have enough leftover paint to do that. So I told her, let's do, I'm sorry, she wanted me to do a colander pour, but I didn't have enough paint left over to do that. So I said, let's do a strainer pour, which is like a mini colander pour. So that's what we ended up doing. Next time when I have more paint mix, we'll do a colander pour. Excuse me for reaching in front of the camera. I just want somewhere to put my strainer when I pull it out. I'm going to let some of this extra drip off on the edges just to help spread. So what do you think, Linda? Oh, that is cool. Because I was kind of describing the colander pour to her, but you really have to see it to understand the effect that you get from it. Now, Linda's going to keep filming this while I go get some gloves on. It should slowly keep spreading out for the moment. about the noise everybody. I have not learned how to edit yet so you have to forgive me because what you hear and what you see is what you get. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. So if there's a mistake, there's a flub, there will be no gag reel. It's all real-time mistakes. <laughs> Things like Brenda forgot her gloves. And I see that it's all right to put this on another painting. Yes, yes. I discussed that in my last one where um, you can actually scrape a painting and do a fresh painting right on top of that used canvas. And you don't even really have to scrape it. You can pour right on top of an existing pour. You can even pour over the top of most sealants. This is actually a sealed painting, but it started to yellow. So I decided to redo it and use a different sealer on it. And uh, so this is directly over a sealed canvas. I'm getting my pen so I can catch some of the runoff so I don't have a mess everywhere. And hopefully 
I'm going to have enough paint. If not, I'll add more white. Once again, I have to go slow. I tend to want to rush. I want to finish because I want to see what it's going to end up looking like. I'm going to have to add some white. I can tell because the paint is starting to overlap itself. It's starting to fold over on itself, which means there's not going to be enough paint if I don't add some additional paint, which you can do this at any point. Just add some additional base coat and it will allow you to spread your paint farther. Gives it a slicker surface to slide across. Now let's see if this does it. We're just going to go in little circles for now, spreading that base coat out farther and farther as we go. And if we do it slow, we won't mess up the details too much. I don't know how my painting is going to come out, but this is going to be like the worst video ever in the world of video creation. I have made way too many errors. But so far, the painting's really pretty. Yes, it is. Linda's trying very hard to keep it in view. I appreciate that, Linda. No problem. Okay, coming down to this corner. Something about the smell of paint. Just makes you want to paint more. <laughs> not that it smells good. Not that it smells bad. It just smells like paint. Two more corners to go. Three down. I can do some touch up after I get good coverage on the front here. Still trying very hard not to mess up my pattern. I think it's really pretty with that blue and pink. It is very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm trying to bring the paint back to center, bringing the pink and blue with it. Lost a little bit of the integrity of the shape, but overall I still have that good pattern. I'm going to touch up the edges. Then I'll have Linda bring it in for a close-up.
me check and see if I've got all the edges covered. There's a spot missing. I prefer to do it all while the paint's still wet. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to finish your edges later. But while I've still got paint in the pan, now's the best time to do it. Because I'll never be able to match these colors up again in the same order. Hey everybody, do I have all my corners covered? It looks like it. All right, Linda thinks so. So I'm going to have Linda bring this in for a close-up. She's going to take it and show you the left side, the right side, and slowly move across so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Unfortunately, we've lost the sunlight, so this is just under lamplight, and it's not a very good view of the painting. The colors are much bolder, much brighter than what you guys are seeing. I just now have taken, taken a look at the camera. But you can at least see the shapes and the patterns in it. And you can see some of these tiny little cells that I'm getting over here. Some small cells here, small cells here, and a couple very tiny ones here. And in the middle we've got a few small cells. This is using no Floetrol. And there is no metallic paint in this other than the white pearl metallic. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again real soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.